All right, welcome back to the Richard and Greg Show. I'm Rich. And I'm Greg. And this is Nelly Kutalot, The Foul Fleet. Part two, the redoing... Ding, ding. Redoing... Yes, we... Uh, microphone failed during the first time we tried to do this episode, so... So you missed all that witty banter that we It had. was pretty witty. But now we can distill it down to hackneyed, script-read <laughs> repetition. Pretty much. We're um, a lot of ideas. Yeah. So this is Nelly Kutalot. It's a click point and click adventure game. Um... I kind of stumbled across the original Nelly Coutelot. I'm going to just start it. Yeah, go for it. Um, Nelly Coutelot, uh, the... Uh, sorry, Spoon Beaks Ahoy. Uh, and then they kick-started. A great uh, this one, the ocean. which uh, I saw and was like, oh, awesome, I'm going to get on that. And I got it, and I played it, and I greatly liked it. And I thought it'd be cool to play a little bit of it now. And, uh, you know... So I do have a walkthrough on... Now, on a call in case of need cool and we're not going to play the whole thing we're going to play about an act maybe scene. yeah um, obviously this little bit right now is a prologue more than anything else a tutorial even I have you licked um, and now I'll send you to the tumult yeah so that'll be the plan talking to the stamps and so we may know the solution to this particular problem. <laughs> yeah, but we might actually speed through this a little bit quickly. That's fine. Um, that's, that's fine. I don't think you want me umming and ahhing about stuff that I... So I think we know... Oh, actually, no, that's right. we got to activate the toot first. Correct. Yep. So, just in case you wanted to know how to play an adventure game. Well, you know, I mean, some people wouldn't know. That's fine. I, I think that makes sense. And there's a pirate Captain who's a ghost. We, should, I, we probably said some funny things about this. Insert your own humorous di dialogue here. Well, you oh. have failed, mate. He's fa she what are you failed As if I have. Yeah, I don't really like this whole instant left click question. to skip dialogue. There should be another button. You think so? Yeah, uh... Yeah, remind me again? Well, yeah, just, I accidentally have left clicked several times now. From the That's true. Because you kind of click, you're not sure if you click, and then you, you've you suddenly clicked through the first yeah, line. You and so much of it is click, 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 click all the time oh. that you accidentally sort of you on the trigger finger. The mm. of the seven yeah, I get that. Like, it should be like space skip. Yeah, I... <sighs> So this game was what made on um, Adventure Game Studios, I discovered, which is something I, uh, at the chance, happened to be life. mucking around with recently, uh, making my own little stuff. Um, and I'm just wondering now, is there, because by default it has the same thing where you can left click and skip dialogue. I wonder if there is a way for me to change that. Well, I mean, but I foresee many innocent birds be patient. It seems like, yes, that should be quite doable. What can I do? Whether or not it's it, like that Adventure Game Studio actually lets you do. Yeah. I'd have to look into that. Um, anyway, we got to follow Captain White. Sorry. Yeah. Baron White, Widebeard, who is bad, looking for the sea MacGuffin uh, of magic. Oh, and then it's his brother, it turns out. Wait. Since when is Baron Whitebeard his the, brother? The Nelly Kudalot law has blown, <laughs> all been blown wide open. So wait, there we go. There's yeah, the space to see everything. But well, I he, happen to know I need that. Yeah, Greg. Um, Mine. Greg was complaining that uh, it's one I'll thing to see everything, but he wanted to have it so it was clear that you clicked on it already. Yeah, and I felt that may be a double-edged sword because sometimes you need to I interact with things several happens. times, or situation the you know state may have changed and or you have the required item now, so it's, it, it's not clear if you've used all your items on it or not. Well, I mean, sure, but at the same time, it's like you know, like if you click on say pointless piece of dialogue there. Oh, yeah. I say. World I building dialogue. I only just got them sorted. Right, but see now, like, okay, that's interesting. But now I want to know, like, oh, you've already, you know. Let's yeah. see what a letter opener can do. Yeah, you've already done it. Like, but at the same time, what if you want to he experience for a second time the was. witticism and. But it twisted at the letter opener pretty badly. Deep experience. Ah. Uh, that is a. I don't know, just. Maybe your writing's going to be now worth it. going to Port Ruby. We more way. Well, like, on holiday. well, let's give it a try. Well, I just I don't like. I, mean, I can understand something like 
the portholes or whatever. Um, I'd better do something. You go, click on it. She says something funny. That's fine. And this then we... Work. Uh, and now <coughs> pardon me. And then it might change colour. So, you know, oh, okay, I've got everything that's going to get... Yeah, it just, I just want to say like, oh, yeah. But it's also an easy, it's an easy way to... <coughs> Um, sort of narrow down what's a useful object to interact with and what's not. It's going to be true anyway. But that's going to happen anyway because, I mean, you're just going to burn through it. And then pirate ship bad guy. Look at them. This old hulk is so dreadfully squalid and damp. I wonder how they did the animations. Strange. Like they look like 3D models. I might as well put which on a bird. He sort of turned to sprites. Are you even listening, Whitebeard? Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. No, of course, of course, my little trebuchet. I said funny things about trebuchets. Oh, good brother's treasure oh just over you, you guys wish you were there. It would have been in hysterics. All the <laughs> you want. But why does he dress like a police officer if he's a baron? Things fast. That's yeah. what I think when I look at him. Yeah, that's true. Begin the incantation. Though the Mexican wizard monkey. I don't know about that. <laughs> It's uh yeah, it's a little out of out of not sure what the hell is going on there. Yeah. What have you done with my consignment of pen nibs? Um, nothing. There isn't a single pen nib in Port Rubicon I mean, thanks to you. Do you really? Yeah, the lip means? sync is not. <laughs> well, wait, they never answers. are. Let's be honest. I it's just I guess life. if you compare this to say Monkey Island, sure, where it's very heavily pixelated. All right, um, newcomer, I need your name and occupation. You can get away with a lot more abstraction. Yeah. Uh, whereas where they're nice, it's more nicely done either. in this case, I say it again in a Welsh things accent. like uh, like a lip sync becomes more apparent. Are you in charge? Yeah. It's a funny, it's a funny sort of thing. It's it's almost like the uncanny valley, the sort of close to your approach your realism. The more you have to sort of like actually try and get there uh, before it looks bad. Yeah, I, like, I'm not saying it's, it's, you know, oh, like, this is terrible, it's a game breaker. But it's, it's a game breaker, great. Look, we, we all know you've checked out already. Utter, you're you're, you're done. Well, the problem is I've already heard all this dialogue. Oh. Yeah. I'm you've skipped it for See, again, watching. like... If you want to have the full yeah. Nelly Kutalot experience for the Foul Fleet, please purchase it on Steam or probably just Steam. <laughs> I don't know where else you could get it. But, um, yeah, buy it. find out where the Baron is heading and give chase. Hold your horses. Have you taken the king's shilling? Have you taken the king's shilling, shilling Greg? You can't prove nothing. I knew you weren't I can't a just say. merchant navy. You can't say. Unless you've taken Not the king's shilling, myself. you can't that's sail true. from my port. Which would, by definition, incriminate myself. Yes, that's right. That's how law works, right? Can you right? give me the king's shilling? Well, if I say I can't say without incriminating myself, that implies that, that you are incriminated. I have something to be incriminated yeah. with. Like, mm. We'll see about that. Uh, or yes, uh, Where was the heartless bound? They should at least, you know, Can't recall. Don't you keep a like, change the colour of the dialogue. The ledger is in my office. Oh, actually, that's a funny thing you say, because they do that in Monkey Island, Island, right? You know how it sort of darkens the colour? Of the texture. it's been a while, but yeah. Well, they do. Um, I mean, and so I was, I was actually trying to imitate that, sure but apparently there's no inbuilt way to do it. I told you, it's logged in There's no way to keep tracking state? Um, there sort of is, but actually making it change the colour? Is, is actually quite weird. Huh. Um, so yeah. this guy's made a custom what are the top uh, uh, dialogue are system, so hypothetically he could have done that here. And I agree, I do think it's good that yeah. when you have, like, you have, you have done this text already, you've already done this. Um, so he may have been able to come up with a solution, but uh, he didn't. Goodbye, Commodore. Um, I don't want to point, I don't want to look down my nose at him since he's done such a good job on everything else. Um, sure, sure. I mean, it's, to say, like, the Commodore's locked it. Uh, I don't think I can do anything with that. Can you go up that staircase to the left there? Got it. Yeah, I think you can get up onto that little ridge, which looks like just a foreground object. Yeah. Uh, okay. I can't yeah. reach it. Sure, you can. So, spoilers, you it. will need other elements to achieve this to puzzle. I don't believe you. It, that one actually, that one took me a while, I remember. Because it wasn't immediately clear I could get up onto that little ridge. Yeah, that's true. So I can't. So we, we went up into the cave before, so we'll go back there. Oh, I go down. Oh. It's nice. Got to get up to go down. When you're walking oh, on get a down beach. to get up. Oh, I know. Okay. Yes, thank Apparently. you. Apparently. Wait, I can right click? 
Maybe you right-click on objects. Oh, uh, okay. So you have the look at option and the interact with option. Who are you and what are you doing here? Jack Tar, and I'm just standing on the beach. Standing on the beach, eh? That's the life. Aye, it is. Yep. <laughs> Seriously, why are you here? Well, so he's like, it's a little These are not load drawing legs. <laughs> Come on, you can tell me, a fellow beach stander. Why does well, Nelly Kudlot's obviously a fan of magazine? Nightmare Before Christmas? Because look at her merch. Yeah, in purse there. The very Jack Skellington. Issue. Yeah. Well done, mate. I except. 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 No excuses. Um. Maximum effort. Come on, beachy dandy. Tell me. They want me to do it with my shirt off. And. At this point, the show get the cake is pretty blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, I just remembered something funny that happened when I was... Standing on the beach, talking to you. At the Ministry of Tickling. Yes. Huh? <gasps> I'm guessing that's going to tell me the same dialogue. Close to, I'm sure. Basically, he needs chest hair. Beard? Describe him? Well, he's a baron. He is. Yeah. He looks like a police officer. With a very wide beard. I do know a Marquis with a very small beard. Not even close. That's probably not Pretty sure it's Marquis, isn't it? Marquis. Oh no, wait, it's pronounced differently in different countries. Wow, Americans can never spell, pronounce anything right. Lieutenant. <laughs> but at the same time, like, I think it legitimately like, like an England right? versus France or something. I'd stay away it's from there, miss. See, I would say Marquis. There yeah, I, I, I say Marquis. Well, fiber. it's just similar to Don't what you said. Me. I'm but uh, I think it, apparently it's Look, done differently. Yeah. I don't believe you, Can Nelly. You give me the king's You're a no, amoral yes. pirate. You the top dude for that. Only hmm. looks to herself and plunder. Goodbye. Later. Can I get past him? Uh, doesn't have any sort of interactable. Now, let's see. Oh, if you can use the plank. There's a thought. Wait. What? So it's a twisted letter opener. Yeah, but you lost no, it, remember? That's not... I don't want to climb up there. It's a new level, Greg. I don't want to climb... What do you mean you don't Let's put this climb up? Ah, oh, okay. Well, problem solved, you... I guess. Lucky I didn't fall. That was pretty, uh, pretty what? tense. <laughs> and that's pretty funny, okay. Oh, I closed for no reason. They're just old junk. Alright, it's... Uh, Time for your old space bar. What sails are for. Really? That's it's kind You're of You're a terrible pirate, Nelly. You're a horrible pirate. It's loose, but I can't get a grip. If only you had an AIDS over on the side there to hoist it up. Oh, wait a minute. What is that? Boards. Just if you're standing on that plank, it pushes up that plank. Here we go. What should I do with this? Probably put it on this door. Greg, you're a master solver. But I also want to look at the ledger. See. Running dreadfully low on pen nibs, that delivery must arrive tomorrow. Saucy manatee craned for cleaning. Rather than fairly, Captain Moody blames me for tilting the ship at the very moment he was about to win Jenga. Mm. Pairs to the hull of the golden turbot. I think I know what I'm supposed to do with that floorboard. Move on. Oh, you go ahead. Because I it, this is a puzzle, basically. So. Ah, uh, so what we okay? I know what you're doing. Is. Yeah. So if you keep going with the. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, this okay. Well. Wait a minute. So the docking. It's okay. Keep going. So why is it... This just gave us the answer that we wanted, isn't it? Yeah. HMAS 2x4s. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so... Oh, something up here. It's not the nudie kind. Oh, well. I don't right. even know what that is. Oh, Calendar. Calendar. <laughs> so... I can drag the boards into the right place. So, but which one goes where? So, it's some sort of docking board for whatever day today is. Friday, though? Okay, hang on. 
So, okay. Saucy Manatee is there on Thursday. Moody is the captain. Turbot is has left and the wild assertion comes in. Uh, even the Toph races. Okay. That's a different thing. Yep. Uh, so, Greasy Chicken belongs to Andre Williams, etc. No trouble for Moody today. He's going Duck to Port Mustard. Going. So the, man, the saucy manatee with Captain Moody is going to Port Mustard. Uh, undeliverable. No, just tell us. No, we didn't know where it was going. Saucy manatee is going to Vegetable Isle. Interesting, because that Friday one, they're changing the where they're going. Oh, I think it's probably that he lied. Maybe. How long can it be to take the row ashore for a pack of pen nibs? Deliver charts of the scurrilous docks to the 2x4. Okay, 2x4 is going to... Which is not there. I'm not exactly sure what's supposed to be happening here. Ah, so we're determining the directions. So the HMS 2x4 is going to the scurrilous docks. So, if you look down the bottom plate, 2x4. Yeah. Yeah, put that there somewhere for now. But we don't, okay. We don't know where they're going. Maybe, is there more info? Oh, we're going to make the Friday docking board. I get yeah. you. Uh, he's helping the... So, Dark Six, Port Mustard. Yeah. Uh, and I think that one was the manatee. Oh, I was helping. Ah, right, you're correct. I see. So... That means that the scurrilous docks and the two by four. We don't know. Okay, well, we don't know where that is. So, well, if we go back to the Thursday log. Okay, so the turnbit has making space for the wild assertion, which is so if we go next. Yeah. So golden turnbit. turnbit. So number two is the wild assertion, which is second from the bottom. Okay, so guttering house. And the wet biscuit. Bean. So, I don't know if the Guttering Houses. Guttering Houses are a destination, which is apparently where Widebeard's going. According to that. True. Ah, so we need to work out who's going to the Guttering House. Gotcha. Oh, who else is so we can stow aboard? Cunning. The under. Hmm? I think you already know. Anyway. Uh, let me work this out. Okay, so no trouble from Captain Moody today. He's helping. So Captain Moody... Was on the sea... So the sea... No, no, the... He's on the... The saucy manatee. Saucy manatee. So, yes. So, uh, Scarlet's ducks to 2 by 4 mm -hmm. Uh... 2 by 4 is not on there. No. Okay. Saucy manatee... Korean complaining. Blame me. Yep, so... Twin Jenga... That's a different thing. Turbot leaves Wild Assertion tomorrow. So we don't know where the Wild Assertion's going. No. Maybe there's this information we're missing. Yes, I think so. So we've got this. So, okay, so... Oh, well, hang on. We know that... We know that what? We know that 2x4 is not going to Port Mustard. Ah, uh, that's true. So, so it must be there. How, why do we know that that's the case? Well, okay, so the wild assertion is here. This is the only yeah. empty slot, and we know that the 2x4 is not going to Port Masters, but whoever was in... Well, actually, because, I mean, do we know if the 2x4 is not in 6? Because it doesn't say that... No, no, but, okay, but the 2x4 is not... Okay. The yeah. 2x4 is going to the Scarlet Docks. Oh, right, okay. But whoever's in Dock 6 is going not to Port going there. Okay, yeah, that, that checks out, sorry. So 2x4 is going to Scarlet Docks. Yeah. Which means the, the wet, wet Biscuit... biscuit. And means the gun. gathering house. So the wild assertion in dock two. That's it. That's it. The Good wild work. assertion is in dock two, bound for the guttering house. Excellent. I must board it and follow the Baron. We have direction. Sounds good. All right. Let's check out what's on those floorboards. Uh, we looked at the calendar. Oh, wait, did we just already get what's underneath on the floorboards? They're just old junk. It looks a little loose. Pretty sure already. Wait, didn't we? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So, this is where the Commodore hides confiscated contraband. What'd we get? A bottle of sleeping pills. 
That's not a thing. No. Okay, so... I think we've... Something exciting in here. What about the rubbish bin? Let's check it out. It's a horseshoe up there as well, I think that. Just rubbish in there. It's a lucky horseshoe. You never know when you might need a big heavy horseshoe. Alright, so, before we leave... Oh! We'll just take the horseshoe then. Okay, before we leave and encounter the exciting events which occur outside, Yep. We will return to more puzzle solving <laughs> uh, next time on the Rich and Greg Show. Cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.